Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0. In our last episode, we got, uh, what did we do? We got our pipeline up and running, and um, after that, I set up a cluster Nobilis factory. I think I was in the, in the process of doing that, but now we have them, and they are awesome. They actually rain down explosives, so you can kind of carpet bomb a whole area. It's pretty cool. And then we also got rifle ammo set up, so those are both automated. And I got turbo fuel, which can get you really high. Um, in fact, so high that you need to make sure not to fall to your death, even with Blade Runners. <coughs> so one thing I had pointed out to me that for some reason I had just assumed wouldn't work was the productivity of summer sloops works on alien protein which is you know a non re it's a renewable resource in that the enemies respawn but it's non-renewable in that you can't automate it um and it also works on power slugs so i can select over here our purple power slug recipe wait where is it uh okay oh right there and then we can throw in our seven power sl uh purple power slugs and I'm gonna get 70 power shards out of this. Isn't that crazy? I could have gotten so many more power shards. So I've been, I've been missing out on my full, full power shard potential. Not that I need more, I already have 150, but you know, it's free power shards. And I can really, I feel like with that change, having twice as many power shards, I can almost get to the point where I'm literally power sharding everything. You know, I, I mean, maybe not quite literally every constructor that's making concrete, but this is going to be a lot of power shards. And I did some more hunting, as you can see by my inventory. I found nine Mercer Spheres because I knew, I knew we'd need some more dimensional depots soon. I ended up finding two hard drives and few more sloops, I think. Eh, maybe just one more sloop. Um, but anyway, I am gonna get all these power shards, and then I want to work on a lot of alien protein, because with alien protein, we can make the DNA capsules, which you can also double with summer sloops, I think. Yep. And so, you end up with four alien DNA capsules per animal remain rather than one. You're, you're quadrupling your alien DNA capsules. So that's pretty crazy. Let me make the rest of our power shards here. Do I have any blue slugs? I don't even think I have a blue slug. Okay, so remains. I have a bunch of spitter remains here, so let's do that. Spitter protein. And then, yeah, I mean, what all what all do we have up here, remains-wise? I'm just going to leave, at most, a stack of 50 of everything. Um, I don't know, in case I want to display them somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, I'll grab all the protein that we've got. And we'll work on processing all of the spitter remains here. Nice. Yum, yum, yum. All right, and then after that, we'll do 59 more hog remains. We're gonna have so much alien protein. Oh, wow. And yeah, how many power shards do I have now? 100, 229. Wow, and I found more turbo motors. I found ECRs. I found more aluminum sheets and all clad. I found HMFs, or FMFs, sorry, fused modular frames. Uh, cooling systems, which I needed cooling systems for one of the other, um, one of the other hard drives. So I could go get that at some point if I want. And what else? I think that's it yeah oh i also can make explosive rebar now too why didn't i do that why didn't i do that uh, i researched it apparently turbo rifle ammo also sounds very exciting uh 
Yeah, explosive rebar. I researched it. Okay, so I'd like to make some, please. I'm curious, how explosive are we talking? I need some iron rebar, uh, which I don't have available. It's over here. Yeah, I probably won't use the rebar gun anymore now that I have the rifle, but explosive rebar could be a thing. It has four damage ticks there. We gotta at least check it out, right? But at this point, I feel like having a, a rifle makes me not want to use the rebar gun. <laughs> All right, explosive rebar. I mean, that is pretty dang cool. So it's kind of like a, uh, a little rocket launcher. You want to think about it that way? All right, hog remains. But yeah, I think we'll be, we'll be retiring the rebar gun. I can ditch the rebar ammo. And then we'll be using the rifle from now on. All right, and what other, what other type of thing? Stinger, 24 stingers. Yeah, so let me go show you the turbo fuel spaghetti while we're waiting here. I, uh, yeah, I kind of decided we need turbo fuel eventually, and it uses all the same things, because compacted coal is uh, sulfur and coal, and that's the same as black powder. So black powder and compacted coal are actually the same thing. Uh, so I decided to make compacted coal right here, and then I use the heavy oil residue to make some fuel. And then fuel plus compacted coal makes turbo fuel. And then I summer slooped that just to make it a little less expensive on the sulfur and whatnot. And then I just decided to put plastic in here because I'm lazy and I didn't want to connect up a big belt. So I can just you know, each plastic makes two containers, so 600 plastic is 1,200 containers. That's gonna last a while. We've got plenty of containers. So yeah, there's turbo fuel for our jetpack. And I did testing. Uh, the reason I'm using it is because at first I was curious. I was like, I know it It says it goes faster, and it does. You can see how quickly it boosts me up, um, which is awesome. But I was worried, I was like, but it also is less burn time. You can see it burns through the turbo fuel faster in the bottom left. And I was a little concerned about that, but I went ahead and tested it. And it turns out that you end up with, I was out of Mercer Spheres, that's why I hadn't built that Dimensional Depot. It turns out that you actually get more, um, I don't know what you call this, bounce time. <laughs> I'm gonna call this bounce time. Uh, you get more bounce time with turbo fuel, even though it's less burn time, it accelerates you more in that less burn time. So I timed um, kind of like two distance travels where I, you know, I flung myself forward and I saw how far I could go with regular fuel and how far I could go with turbo fuel. And you end up going further with turbo fuel, uh, which is really nice. So you don't really ever have to go back. Turbo fuel is just strictly better than regular packaged fuel. And that was nice to know. Okay, what was I doing? Protein? Stinger protein. There we go. Should process that pretty fast. And then we've got, oh my gosh. And each one of these is gonna be two DNA capsules. We're gonna have so many coupons. And did I, I think I grabbed the protein from here. Yeah. All right. We're gonna have so many coupons. Not that I need that many, but, you know, they're nice to have. All right, so two DNA capsules per protein. I 
guess I can ditch the regular fuel now. And what was this doing? Oh, AI limiters. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, I'll leave that there for now. AI limiters are for programmable splitters and smart splitters. I did discover the difference between those. Uh, I was curious, so I googled it. There's really not a big difference, except that programmable splitters let you filter multiple items in one or two directions. Or three. Um, switching from coffee to green tea now. So like a smart splitter, you can filter items different directions. You can do overflow with, with the smart splitters. Um, but you can't do, like, I want coal and limestone to go to the right, but I want, uh, sorry, one second. Um, you know, but I want everything else to go to, to the left. You can't do multiple items uh, as part of the filter unless you use the programmable splitter. So, so yeah, we're going to have a crap ton of DNA capsules here. So we'll come back to that in a minute. And in this episode, we are going to start working towards... I need a booster over here. I guess I can jump over to this and then get the speed off that to get back to our big Lodro factory building over here. Um, yeah, we're going to be working on heavy modular frames and computers in this episode, so I need to research those. And then... I'm still not entirely certain what we're doing here. I think I need Caterium. I might put that back here. I had wondered if I should leave this space open for extending, but now that I'm thinking about it, I could always just power shard it and that will get me a lot more. I have plenty of power shards. So I think I'm just going to leave these as is, and then I'll power shard them when necessary. I could even summer sloop them if I have enough sloops, which I don't. But, uh, <laughs> all right, how much concrete is this processing? 90, uh, 180, 360. So I should probably double this again. Probably. So I can handle a full belt. Right now, it can't handle a full belt of limestone. So yeah, let me extend this a bit. Constructors X8. Um, which blueprint do we have here? I need to go this way. Okay, why is it complaining? Oh. Because the constructors are inside of each other. Fair enough. Okay, that's uh, a bit funky. That's left and right. Me hitting the left and right arrow keys. And that's me hitting the up and down arrow keys. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's new. Uh, the nudging is... Uh, not working. What the heck? I've never seen that before. I've... I don't even know what to say, other than that's clearly, clearly wrong. Um, now it's working. That was so weird. The nudging was broken. Okay, is this the right alignment? Yeah. Um. So I think I just click. And then all I got to do is attach this. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. Attach that to that. No, that's not. Wait. Oh yeah, okay. That's right. I'm gonna attach this to this. And then we attach power to power. And that should do it. Yep, there we go. There we go. Uh, and then we just have to select all the recipes. So copy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. All right, 
right, so there's all the concrete. And let's go research the milestone. Research the milestone for manufacturing, because that's the thing we need. And I haven't done anything with trains yet. I'm still on the fence about <laughs> trains. I probably will just because they're cool. Gosh, this is still going. Goodness. What's the rate? Oh, only 25 a minute. Okay, so that'll take a little while. So we're done with everything in tier. I don't know why tier four is blinking. Because I've done everything in it. So that feels a little buggy. But uh, yeah, industrial manufacturing. Here we go. So I need frames. Oops. Not steel beams. Uh, frames, cable, plastic, and motors. But I don't have enough. Go we'll grab more plastic. That'll take three minutes to fill up. No, I need 400. That'll take a lot of minutes. 400 of those, and then we should have enough of the regular frames almost. Just, uh, stop by the hand sand. Oh, coffee station. Wait, can you put the coffee mug in there? Hold on. Science must be done. Please tell me you can do this. No! This game is literally unplayable. Oh, come on. They missed an opportunity here. Forget toilet flushing. We need coffee mug filling. Give me coffee. Oh, that's disappointing. I'm very disappointed. All right. There we go. No? Oh, I need literally six more motors. By the way, you can search in here if you're looking for something specific. It's a little easier to find it that way. All right. There we go. Milestone reached. See you later. Manufacturers can receive up to four inputs for the production of complex parts, such as computers and heavy modular frames, but most importantly, the two new project parts. The okay. modular engine and adaptive control yep. unit are yep, essential yep, yep. for the phase development three, phase of phase three important. of project assembly. You are making good progress. The future is starting to look bright. Ooh, is it now? Wonderful. Um, first thing I'm going to do with the manufacturer is blueprint it. Um, because this thing is annoying AF. Look at that. Just look at it. It's huge. Uh, so we're gonna... Actually, I may wait. Yeah, because you can't fit two of them. I may wait until I have the next tier of blueprint designer. It just would be so nice to get this out of the way. Maybe I'll design... Yeah. Here. We'll design it for one building now, and then when I get the bigger one, I'll redesign it for two buildings. Because I should be able to get this done. Well, that, that will certainly clip. So then... We're gonna need four flipping belts. Okay, so then we'll see if these naturally uh, link up. They probably won't. Uh, splitter. Oh, okay, that one works. That one works. That one works. The last one doesn't. That's so funny. Why doesn't the last one work? 
I'm holding control and it's not snapping. But we already learned the trick is you build it there and then it snaps. So, that's fine. Alright, and then you remove the lifts. Scanning drives can give me alternate computer and uh, HMF recipes now. That is true. Okay, so that's done. And then... Then the question is, do I want to bring this one up as the output? And go like, the next one is the output. Like that. to go even higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that where we want to be? Yes, that is level. Yeah, I should scan the drives that I have. That's a good point. Imagine taking a sip of coffee while jetpacking through the air. That can't be the easiest. I do have two more hard drives here. I really want them to fix this bug before I select all my recipes. I want to be able to browse through them. Uh, it's really frustrating me. I do have, by the way, this is... Um, I remember this being one of the better recipes. Silicon circuit... Or is it Caterium circuit boards? Mm, I think it was silicon circuit boards. They're made at 12 and a half a minute, which is quite a bit faster. We need roughly the same amount of copper, but instead of four plastic per board, we only need like two silica. <clears throat> so yeah, that's a pretty good one. Ethereum boards reduce the plastic cost to close to one plastic per board, but then they require mm, four Ethereum wire instead of two copper sheets which are about the same price, but Caterium is more rare than copper. So you're basically saving a lot of plastic by trading copper for Caterium. Interesting. Um, okay, so now what we want to do, make this easier to connect to the next one, is we remove these bits, and we just attach those the next one and then power is hooked up where right there okay and power is pretty easy for this guy I think I'll just put it right here and that'll be it and then we'll plop two of those down once we have a bigger blueprint so this is manufacturer sure manufacturer X1, Mark IV, select icon, um, there you go, directory, production, a blueprint. All right, so now we've got a lot of work to do, because I need to hook up everything. And I don't think we have anywhere near all the right things. So, <laughs> so what all do we need? We need modular frames, encased beams, steel pipes, and screws. And that one is circuit boards, cable, and plastic. Okay. So we're going to need to start putting those on the bus. All of those things. Um... Amazing how quickly this factory runs out of space. We're gonna need a second factory building already. <sighs> oh goodness.
part of me is wondering if I should give up on the bus idea. I already got a lot going. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, I won't put screws on the bus. I will say that. Not putting screws on the bus. So, first thing to do... is reinforced plates, which I'm going to do stitch plates with iron wire. So that means I need... This is tricky. We're gonna need wire and iron plates. I just need so many constructors. Maybe I shouldn't do a bus. There are so many items. Do I really want to do it that way? I think I do. I, I know it's crazy, but I, I think I really do. It's just, we're gonna have to do a lot of work because all the item, see, we needed to have started the base like this rather than waiting this long to, to start to get this stuff established. If I had started with a bus mentality, then we would have already had a lot of things, you know, on the bus, so to speak. But now I need to establish, like, oh, we need to get iron plates on the bus, and then we need to get <sighs> iron rods on the bus, we need to get wire on the bus, and we need to get cables on the bus. So there's just a lot to do with constructors right now. So we're going to get going with that. Get constructors built. And I think I'm going to leave some space and we can do, do like two separate builds here. And we can just stack on top of those two. a different resource so like these guys will be uh, plates what are the hold on what are my options stitched iron plate and regular and we don't have anything else for modular frame yet Surely I want to do something else for modular frames, right? Do I want to do the steel? I guess I can access it here. Um, what do we want? Steeled frame, bolted frame, or original? Also, for motors... I'm not going to do rigor motors anytime soon. Um, or is it rotor? Copper rotor? Copper sheets and screws. Wire statter. I thought... Statters are normally pipes and copper. Or... Steel pipes and copper sheets. Oh, I already have the alternate for steel rotor. Okay. okay. I was like, I thought that existed. So that way we can make motors out of just wire and steel pipes and nothing else, which is really nice. Um, anyway, for frames... Bolted frames are very interesting because that 56 screw 
can be handled entirely by one steel beam. Which is four steel ingots. I don't think if there are any other beam recipes. Yeah. Um, so, one steel beam instead of 12 iron rods is basically what we're talking about here. And it's made way faster, right? Five a minute instead of two a minute. Um, so I think I do want bolted frames. Steel frames are interesting. The steel pipes... Heck, I'm going to use iron pipes. Um... One is requiring about three steel pipes, which is about four and a half steel. And how much was this? Each one is requiring 56 screws, which is about four steel. So these are slightly heavier on the steel cost. Because it's three and a third. But each steel, now that I have the cheaper recipe, I'm using the iron ingot version, each steel is only one and a half, no, two thirds of a coal and two thirds of an iron. Ooh, another hard drive. Ethereum computer, oh, perfect. I think I want that, right? It's 50% faster, and it uses the same amount of circuit boards. And instead of eight cable, it uses 14 quick wire. And instead of 16 plastic, it uses six rubber. So it's way, 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 way cheaper on the oil products. It's 50% faster, and steel canister. See, some of these recipes are just, like, so bad. I mean, when I say bad, like, obviously there are times and places where you'd want this because you're like, oh, I don't want to go get plastic. But you, you rarely need canisters for real production. Canisters are usually in part of a packaging loop, and so you only need to make them once. The only time you actually use them is if you're sinking canisters of stuff, or if you are uh, using it for, like, vehicle fuel and even then that like vehicle fuel is such a small amount anyway uh, we're definitely doing Caterium computers because besides eight cable is already 16 copper ingots and quick wire is what we get five quick wire per three ore so that's only like seven or eight Caterium ore there So, we'll definitely do that. Uh, we'll get the last hard drive researching there. And back to my frame decision. Uh, you think steeled frames are better because they use less reinforced plates. Now that's a good point. Um, I was mostly looking at the steel cost here, which is actually pretty similar, but this requires two for three, and that requires three for two. I, I think my brain was being dyslexic there and switching that and not noticing that they were the opposite. So that's a huge difference, right? That's requiring 1.5 rips per frame, and this is requiring um, two thirds per, which is way less. Um, that's half, right? Or, well, 1.5 versus two thirds is not quite, it's less than half, actually, weirdly enough. Like, the other way to think about it is if this was making three modular frames, it would be 4.5, and instead of 4.5, it's only costing two. So that's less than half of the reinforced plates. That's a pretty compelling reason to use steel frame. And the pipes are pretty similar to the screws from steel screws. So 
Overall, not a huge difference. Um, and you don't have to deal with the massive rates of steel screws. So I will go with steel frame. That's a good choice. Okay, so first step is making the rips and getting those on the bus. So the rips need iron plates. And I'm just defaulting to eight constructors. That could be a bad choice, but at least for these items, like, it seems reasonable. Uh, one, two, three, four. Because what's that? 240, up to 240 ingot usage. Oh god, all the belts are not connected. This is where, you know, multiplayer could be fun, because I could pawn all these uh, terrible tasks off on somebody else. <laughs> Who wants to connect all these belts for me? Anybody? Anybody? Um... All right, uh, so that's good. Steel is back here, okay. And I need to make... Will that connect? Or is that too far? It does, okay. Scoop that up. That one's spaced. Is that right? Uh, can't tell. Yeah, yeah, it's like right next to the, the edge here. And then between the two, yeah, there's enough space for a person to walk. Okay, so here's these guys zooped. And then iron comes across. And then the ingredients go here. Now in this case, it's actually really convenient. Um, I'm doing two things made from iron in the same spot. So that's awesome, because now I can just... Oh, that won't do anything good, good there. Actually. I'll do this. And then we can stack there. And the input is iron. Look, let me up. And attaches there. So now we'll have wire and uh, ing or steel plates, steel plates, iron plates off of that. Cool, cool, cool. Um, line that up. In this case, I will not use a vertical do that because there's no need. There we go. Iron wire now needs to be hooked up, and power needs to be hooked up or selected. What we're trying to say. All right. Uh, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then power, we can do our little floor power. Over here. Should get everything running here. Yep, there's plates, and in a moment we should see wire coming over that horizon. Come on, baby. Give me that wire. 
Uh, did I forget to hook up power? Nope, there it is. There it is. Woo! All right. All right, all right, all right. Now, those are going to need to be over here, probably. Oh, goodness, I have too much going on. Where did I decide quick wire ingots are going to go? I should probably make some decisions. So, um, sulfur, coal, Caterium, quartz, and Sam. So, reanimated Sam should probably be what's on here as a replacement. And then, for quartz, we have silica and quartz crystals. Caterium only has the one, which is quick wire. I'm pretty sure Caterium ingots, it should auto go to the search, by the way. Pretty sure Caterium ingots aren't used in anything else, right? Uh, it's used in a lot of alternates, unfortunately. But are they all foundry related stuff? Yeah, I'll probably just put Caterium ingots on it and then separately do a quick wire factory. So then that means Quickwire is going to need a home as well. Basically, I was just thinking, what else can I put over on these ones? But it's mostly going to be ingots. And silica, processed quartz. Uh, English only, please. I don't, I can't moderate other languages. So... Sorry about that. Welcome to the channel. But, uh, yeah. I don't speak other languages, so I cannot moderate other languages. Anyway, what do I do? Uh, quartz, did I? Yeah, I just have to put everything over here, which means we're gonna need more space real quick, because we're gonna run out of space in no time. This can be a second row of items. And then I guess we'll just have to go to the next building for more. Or the next floor? Probably the next floor. Oof. I'm already... How am I gonna change floors for all these? I guess I can extend them out further. And then those ones... The bottom one could end up being on the top. And then there's no overlapping, but but then the bottom one's on the top, and that's confusing. So instead, I'll probably raise from the side and then go back over, and then we can keep the bottom one on the bottom, if that makes any sense. Um, and... Did I decide, should I use this line? I haven't been, but it's like, I can walk under it. The problem is you can't do a lift down from it. So that's, I think that's the reason not to use it. All right, what did the ma'am finish? Are we lucky? Was it something with frames? No, nope, it was not heavy modular frames. Was it beams? No, dang it. I've really wanted the alternate for encased beams and we haven't gotten that either. Um, adhered iron plate. Now there's an interesting one. If you want to use rubber for your iron goods, you can, but I don't think we want that. So yeah, which circuit board are we going to end up using? I feel like Caterium circuit boards are pretty dang strong. They just need such little plastic. I mean, instead of four plastic a piece, it's like 1.2 or 1.3. Um. Oh. 
30 quick wire. That's four quick wire per board. That's still not that much. Yeah, I think I want that one. All right, so steel ingots. I guess the question I'm asking myself right now is, are there other secondary ingots we're gonna need on these ones? I guess I could put like plastic and rubber on these. But we'll figure it out. For now, we've got iron and copper. And those are gonna go I almost wonder if I should blueprint this crap. Um, uh, that's okay, I don't need screws, because I'm not doing screws for frames, and I'm not doing screws for reinforced plates. So we should be okay. Without that. You know what I'm realizing is this is such a pain in the butt because I have to come down on this side and then back and then up and then over. Um, can I blueprint this somehow? Like what if I, no, my blueprints just aren't big enough, but it would be really nice to have like a, a splitter off of everyone, and then a merger off of everyone, and then they all connect up to this wall, and then I can kind of paste that, and then I can just make the connections here, rather than what I'm having to do right now, which is kind of a giant pain. Uh, oh, you're right. Heavy frames do use screws. I forgot about that. We'll have plenty more hard drives, too. I'll do more hard drive hunting in the future. Um, bring these down. that and then we've got a murder you know what I'm gonna eyeball it and I'm gonna move on with my life sue me look those look like straight lines you can't tell they're not you can't tell me they're not nobody has to know all right, stuff is on the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round. And I guess what I should be doing for every item is checking like iron plates. What do those get used in, right? Because if they don't get used in very much, then I shouldn't put it on the bus. It looks like they get used in some alternates or some things later, but right now they only get used in reinforced iron plates. So there's no point to putting it on the bus if that's the only place it gets used. So I actually don't need it on the bus at all. And this is why a bus is a bad idea, as people say, is because there's a lot of parts that only get used in one place for like a long time. Um, Wire, I'll use to make cable. I need for sand fluctuators. I need for statters, rotors, which are motors. So wire's needed in a few places, but the plates? I don't think I'm gonna put the plates on the bus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off. We're undoing that. Um, and I will just... I guess that allows me to build reinforced plate factories later on along the bus. But for now, fine. Alright, assemblers. Nudge those over. 
Okay. Floor power. Two here. All right. You guys are stitched iron plates. Do I need more than three? Um, 15 a minute. 90, about 100 wire a minute, 60 plates a minute. Probably. Heavy modular frames use 5 frames a minute, which is insane. Um, okay. I'm making an executive decision. Uh, those of you excited about seeing heavy modular frames are gonna have to wait. Because what we're gonna do... That's gonna be the wrong swatch. Um... What we're gonna do here... I have... We haven't built any yet. But I have radar towers. Now, they do require... <laughs> HMFs and computers, so I may need to handcraft a few of those things, or I may need to build and unbuild them. But a radar tower reveals the map. It reveals nodes, it reveals hard drives. Look at that. It's beautiful. In a circle that is about that size radius. So what I can do is I can go build a radar Maybe over here, and I'm gonna grab a bunch of hard drives because I desperately need the better uh, encased beam recipe and a better heavy modular frame recipe. I know that there are at least one option for both of those that I would prefer 90% of the time. So I'm gonna head north and we're gonna go we're gonna go see if we can find some stuff. So I'm gonna pause the recording for a minute here until we get into position. All right, welcome back, future YouTubians. We are way over here to the northeast. Um, I did have to go back and grab, I forgot to grab like stuff like cooling systems and fused frames in case we need those. All the random things I've found that I can't craft. And we've connected power all the way over here, so now we should be able to build a radar tower and hook it up and two hard drive signals found. Ooh, nice. 47 Mercer spheres. Oh, wait, it won't show. Oh, I didn't know how it worked. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay. Um the reason this is disappointing I thought it would show me on the map where the hard drives are uh, it's disappointing because this scanner still doesn't work they haven't patched it um, so I'm not going to be able to use the scanner to help me find those hard drives that's actually a really big bummer <laughs> 40 Mercer Sphere 47 nonetheless that's kind of insane um, if you think about it so yeah I let's see there's one way over there I'm pretty sure that's that's that one which I already have so I guess we'll just resume standard exploration operating procedure I'm sad that the radar doesn't help me more. I thought it would just give me the icons on the map for where the hard drives were. You identify as a future Twitchian. <laughs> Growth, the future, an idea, and frankly, you. Ooh. Is a tapestry woven with hands or with thoughts? Both are necessary, yet only one can't function without the other. 
We see your echo steps, shimmering symphonies that break upon our temples, but your song is alien. How long ago did you notice me? There's no long, there are only spheres. Mercer I spheres. wonder, was it always about survival, or is there something more, something beyond? Consume our blood and you will see our threats. Ooh. Saucy. I think Ada and the aliens are uh, falling in love there. Falling in weird, weird alien plus AI love. You know, love is love, they say. <laughs> also, uh, Kata, you watched the Factorial Pyron and now you realize what goes into Cut for you too. Yeah, it really depends on the series. There are some series where I do pretty much all of it on YouTube, and then there are some where I do a lot of it in between. Most of the time, a lot of it's recorded, though. I don't, I don't do tons and tons off camera. Sometimes I get a little carried away. But uh, all right, so there's got to be a hard drive near here somewhere. Does this happen to tell me anything? It actually is working for once. Well, that's fun. That's fun. Just try to avoid the spiders. Um, drop some bombs. Carpet bomb the area. Didn't seem to kill all the spiders. All right. Good gracious. This is why we have guns. You know they do a lot of damage. These the green ones. Oh my gosh. Did I not just do one of those? Did it do like 12 damage to me? No. Good. Good gracious. How many spiders are in here? I think I'm playing Dark Souls here. This is very Dark Souls. I'm in a swamp. Things are trying to kill me. Things that are way bigger than me. Alright, killed one. Goodness. Seriously. It is a horror game. Alright, I seem to be getting stuck over there. That's nice. in a tree. <sighs> Goodness, I just want the drop pod. Oh my gosh. You know, I think... No, don't build spiders. I think this might be a better strategy. Holy crap. Oh, he's still there. All right, you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda get this whole area laced with cluster bombs. And we'll just kinda keep running around in this area to make sure all the enemies end up here somewhere. And then we're gonna jetpack straight up and then we're gonna go boom. And it's gonna be perfect. Alright, go up. <laughs> and then I fell too far and died. I love this game. Well, rip. Rip in pepperonis. All right, uh, I'm gonna pause the recording and I will come back for uh, when I get back to my body. All right, future YouTubians, we're back. We've collected our body, killed a couple more spiders. Uh, the green ones weren't around. I don't know if they're closer to where the hard drive is. <sighs> so let's see if we can see the hard drive. We still can. There's probably a green spider over there, if I had to guess. I'm 
cream to me. Do that. Are we okay? Oh, there's a spider. Was that just a normal? I can't even tell anymore. Yeah, those that was just a little guy. I could have used my rifle for that. 200 megawatts. Okay, we can we can do that. We also get some What the? It... Uh okay, that looked like a fused modular frame, but I picked it up and then it picked it up as a high-speed connector. That was weird, to say the least. Uh, computers, and anything else fancy for me? Doesn't look like it. All right, so 200 megawatts is going to need uh, one, two, three, kill a spider. Me. I'm trying to do something here. These things are so hard to see in the dark. Okay, they kind of just keep appearing. I feel like I've already killed two. And there's still two more. And there's another one coming. Out of here. Like a spider spawner or something. Kind of thing in this game. Good gracious. What? There's more? What is going on? Okay, how are there so many spiders? What is happening? Is there like a glitch just spawning infinite spiders? Or is this one invincible? Is it just not dying? Good gravy. <sighs> okay, uh, where was I? 200 megawatts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven should do it. All right. Whew. Three. Oh, I'm out of inventory space. Uh, what can I trash? Weirdly, uh, I can trash a little bit of that. I can trash some steel beams, because I've automated that. And modular frames, and... I don't want to trash sand fluctuators. I have to handcraft those. Alright, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Hard drive. Alright, I think I did it. There we go. Drive, place a stamp, and deconstruct it all. Cool. Well, this is a terrible place. Absolutely terrible. Never come here again. Does the hard drive scanner want to find me another one? Oh, that would be too easy. That would be too easy. There's probably another one in this direction somewhere. I'm just gonna assume there's one over here. They're pretty... They're not evenly spaced, but, you know, they're, like, distributed. So... 
If there's a big gap where you haven't found one yet, there's a decent chance that there's one somewhere. Alright. There's probably one over there. Or something. Where are we? Yeah, I feel like there's going to be one in this region. Somewhere. We kind of need daytime. Night makes it really hard to see. There could be one up here. There's purple power slug. So that's not nothing. I should build the man. Get that hard drive researching. Oh, you know what I can do? I just realized. Um, oh gosh, there's two of those up here. Three? Three alpha hogs, huh? What if we just carpet bomb the entire world? Surely that will... Do some good. These things have a lot of health. But you can't take a cluster nobelisk to the face when all of the little carpet bombs get you. I don't know how you're standing over there, but makes you a sitting duck. All right, all this for power shards that we don't need. Classic. Oh, I see the hard drive. In my periphery. It's over there. Um, is there one to the left-ish, though? Is that one up at the top of that? Uh, no, I already got that one. That one down there. Is there one... Kind of... In this region. There's a Mercer Sphere. Ah, there's one. Probably bunches of spiders. Um, no alpha hogs. Okay, that's fine. We can we can take care of that. Oh, I got him! Wow, that didn't kill him. Crazy. ran away, though. He's not dead. Oh, he brought a friend. Cool. Alright, let's make a wall. And then try to get you guys to come attack me. Get him? I think we got him. You know, those eight or whatever it is. Five? Oh. I guess the regular ones are five. The the radioactive ones are seven, I think. Hog remains when you kill them. Pretty crazy. Alright, what do we got? Aluminum sheets. Uh, ECRs. Ooh, heat sink. That's a new one. Um... I need a trash, what, plastic and rubber? I have those. And quick wire. And wire. And concrete. And iron. Reinforced plates. That's good enough. All right, what do we got done? We got 25 turbo motors, or no, cooling systems needed. Good thing we brought those. Stamp it. And what I was just realizing, oh look, more HMFs, uh, is I can just re-roll some of my old hard drives. And if I'm lucky, it'll re-roll with the new things I have unlocked. Yeah, there it is, heavy encased frames. I can't remember if that's the one we want. I think it is. Okay, so we use, 
oh my god this is just so much better uh look at this look at this it's crazy so for each hmf instead of using five modular frames i'm using two and a half roughly so it's about half the the modular frames and instead of needing 15 encased beams for three i only need 10. instead of needing 60 steel pipes i only need 36 and the only change is instead of 360 screws which is 90 iron ingots basically i need 22 concrete and 22 concrete is only 66 limestone. So not only are you using 66 limestone instead of 90 iron, which is already a decent deal, but you're using basically half as much of everything else, or two thirds, half to two thirds as much of everything else. And on top of all of that, it makes 2.8 a minute instead of two a minute. It's ridiculous. This is the one we needed. It's so much better. It's not even close. Um, yeah, okay, so now I need to find things I don't care about and re-roll them, like these two. Um, the polymer resin one could be useful at some point, but I'll get it later. Uh, recycled plastic and recycled rubber are interesting. Basically, it allows you to turn fuel into plastic or rubber. So it lets you build a really nice facility where you pipe in fuel and it basically loops the plastic and rubber and overflows both of them. So you're kind of turning fuel into whichever one you need. Uh, so that's kind of an interesting thing. Um, used quick wire. I actually might want that at some point. Turbo heavy fuel. Is that good? No, because by using the packaged fuel, the diluted fuel, you can turn the heavy oil residue into more fuel. Uh, so I won't reroll that one. I might reroll this one. I don't care about either of those. I'll take steel screw because that's nice. I kind of care about that, I guess. Um, what else can I reroll? Crystal computer and pure cuterium ingot. I don't care about either of those right now. I don't want either of those. All right. Um, acquire cable and rigor motor. I don't want either of those. I'll reroll. Electrode circuit board, petroleum coke. So we use four rubber instead of four plastic. That's about the same price. And then this is a slower recipe. And then I'm using another three heavy oil. I guess that one's kind of nice because it almost uses the exact ratio. When you produce rubber. Yeah. So this one's kind of a nice one because it essentially allows you to go straight from oil to refinery making rubber and then you use the heavy oil residue to make petroleum coke, and then you just feed both of those into the assembler. So that's the reason that recipe exists. Uh, silicon high-speed connector, is that any good? Um, uses half as much caterium, same amount of circuit boards, and we use 25 silica instead of 10 cable. No, sorry, instead of 20 cable. So... Kind of just trading silica for cable. <sighs> Get that one. I don't know if I love it, but whatever. What else do I not care about? Coated cable, probably. So let's reroll this one. Heavy flexible frame. That's another one I remember. Um, that's an option, but I don't love it. Um, it saves you on steel, but that's basically it. It is a lot faster though. Basically it trades rubber for, for the steel pipes and everything else is pretty similar. 
Um, but I don't really want fine concrete either, but I'll take fine concrete. Just stop re-rolling it, please. What else? Plastic AI limiter, is that any good? Um, not really. No, I don't like that, nor do I like steel rods. Plastic smart plating, okay. So basically it allows you to do the same thing, but add three plastic and it gets you an extra smart plating. That actually seems decent. I don't know, we'll probably appreciate that later in the game at some point. Um, oh, that's, this is one I definitely wanna re-roll. I hate both of those. And I hate both of these. All right. Well, sucks to be me. Okay. There's a lot of crappy ones out there. I'll take six inventory slots. And I'll take bolted iron plates because that one doesn't have any rerolls. This one doesn't have any rerolls. I'll take speed wiring, I guess. Pure copper is one that I actually will probably want later, so I won't reroll that. Coated iron canister. I mean, come on. Are you guys serious? Like, why do we have so many recipes for canisters? Plastic is not that hard to make. <laughs> Once we have plastic canisters, why do we have five alternate recipes for... Oh my god, and it gives me the worst... The worst! I don't want... Okay, I'll do automated miner, just because someday I might want to automate them. Oh, goodness. Fused quick wire might be worth it. So I won't re-roll that one yet. Uh, rubber concrete insulated crystal oscillator. That actually seems decent. So you're only using 10 instead of 18 quartz crystals. That's a big difference. And you're using an AI limiter. Instead of... And seven rubber instead of two and a half rips and 14 cable. Um... I think that's actually decent. I might not rescan that. I'll rescan this one. I don't care about wet concrete right now. Crystal computer. I think Caterium computer is still what we're gonna wanna do. It's too much math to figure out if that's any good. Caterium wire, molded steel pipe. Could be good if we ever make a ton of concrete. Pure quartz crystal seems pretty strong. No, it doesn't. Sorry, I thought the ratio was different. We normally get five to three, and this changes it to nine to seven. That's not even that much better. It's like barely better. For using refineries and water. Whatever, I'll rescan that. Uh, I guess I'll take some, anything other than steel canister. Iron pipe could be useful. Coke steel, I'm not going to use. Pure iron, I don't need for a long, long time. There it is. There's the one we want. Finally. Oh, I didn't realize you could expand that. Um, this is the one we've wanted. So the normal encased beams are six concrete. Uh, maybe this isn't the one we want. Never mind. So it's normally six concrete and three beams. Instead, this is five concrete and six pipes, which is equivalent to nine steel ingots. 
and the three beams is normally 12 steel ingots. So this is cheaper, but slower. I'll still take it. Uh, I think that's not the one, though, that I really like. Recycled rubber and bio coal. I will reroll that one. And... It's kind of interesting. That's a pretty small amount of heavy oil residue that you need to bring in. Hmm. And it saves kind of an absurd amount of copper. We would normally need 18 copper for this, and instead we need 5. So we're replacing 13 wire with 2 heavy oil residue. It's a pretty good ratio. Alright, we're running out of things now. Um... Used quick wire. I don't think I'm going to want that anytime soon. Nor am I going to want the ability to turn plastic into iron. So I don't like either of those. But I'm not going to use heavy flexible frame. Because we already have the other heavy frame one that I'm almost certainly going to want. Do bolted frame. Alright, we're running out of rescans. Uh, cheap silica, no. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd want insulated cable. I think I'd rather do the coated cable. I guess you get the rate, I mean, it's produced in the assembler and it does 100 a minute, which is kind of absurd. So that's a thing. Um, but tempered copper... Is petroleum coke as a substitute for actual copper ore. Basically one to one. It makes twelve instead of thirteen, but I'll I'll take it. Um I'll do more ways to make ingots, it's just more universally useful. I'm gonna rescan this one. Nothing good. Wait, what? Compacted coal is already the same recipe as black powder. <laughs> That's funny. So if you make compacted coal first, this is equivalent to one sulfur plus two sulfur plus two coal. So it's three sulfur plus two coal making six black powder instead of Three sulfur plus three coal making six black powder. It saves you a tiny amount of coal. That's got to be one of the worst recipes I've seen. Given how, how much more complicated it makes things for you. I mean, it's slightly more complicated. It's still the same production lines, but you have to add in a whole step to make the compacted coal. And you only get one extra black powder out of it. That's not that great. Neither is Crystal Computer, though. I don't know. Mm, whatever. This one... I'm gonna reroll. And I will take the recycled plastic now. Ah, <sighs> Caterium wire, molded steel pipe, I'll say no to both of those. And now I will take... Used quick wire. Now this is interesting. This allows you to make heavy oil residue directly. I, I should take this, because this, plus the diluted fuel, uh, allows you to make an absurd amount of fuel from oil. Um, so that one is actually a big deal. And finally, I'm just not going to need pure copper ingot for a long time. But we got crappy alternatives. Okay. Well, that's all we get for now. I think we'll call it an episode there after selecting all those alternates. And then I'll do some more hard drive hunting probably between this episode and the next one for you future YouTubians. If you are here on Twitch, uh, stick around. 
because we're going to keep streaming. Or I guess if you're here on YouTube Live. Let's go out with a bang. How about? Yay. I love these things. They're so fun. All right. I'll see you guys in the next episode.